You ever wonder what the three biggest mistakes that are made when conducting social engineering campaigns? Stick around. My name is Jeremiah Talamantis. I'm the founder of Red Team Security and the author of the Social Engineers Playbook. Hey, everybody. Thanks for sticking around. Here are the three biggest mistakes that are made when people carry out social engineering campaigns. The first one is always targeting usernames and passwords. Now, while usernames and passwords should definitely be part of a social engineering campaign, they should not be the only thing that is uh, attempted to gather. What we want to, to, to capture as part of a social engineering campaign is something that's most critical to the business, something like intellectual property, uh, it could be code, it could be client information, it could even be marketing information, right? So the process of going about determining what's critical to that company and to your client is really going to come about in the form of interviews. You want to identify what the threats are and tease that information out. Again, number one is targeting user creds only. All right, mistake number two. Mistake number two is it's all about the fish. What does that mean? It means that there's a common misconception that social engineering is really only about email phishing, right? The ignoring the others, there's baiting, there's telephone pretexting, there's faxing, there's face-to-face -face social engineering and tailgating. So there's much more to it than, than the one dimensional uh, email phishing. Keep that in mind. Uh, physical security threats are on the rise uh, as well as everything else. So don't be so focused on only thinking that social engineering is really only about email phishing. Number three, starting with tools first. This is a huge one. Oftentimes you see folks wanting to start a social engineering campaign and what do they do? They jump right to the social engineering toolkit or XYZ tool, right? They want to start social engineering without first understanding human behavior. Very, very big, bad no-no. Exploitation of human trust is something, an understanding of that is something that's necessary and it's not optional. You can't skip 15, 20 steps and jump right to the tool and fire that up before, before you clearly understand how to truly exploit uh, human trust and human behavior. Tools are a part of the job, but they're only a small part of the job. Social engineering in itself is very, very multidimensional. It involves things like elicitation, uh, influencing, reading body language, uh, micro expressions. There's, it's very multidimensional, like I said, and uh, without a thorough study of it, you're completely missing the boat. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching. And if you like these videos, please uh, uh, subscribe and, and like and share with your colleagues. Thanks again. Bye bye.